Hey, hey everybody, how we doing? Today we're going to take a look at the first NO64s that I have in my collection. I don't know why it's taking me so long to get anything by this brand, but I saw these chrome models for the, I think it was for the, Chi the 2023 Chinese Diecast Expo, and I thought they were really cool. Yeah, the Hobby Expo China. And I thought these three were really cool, and they looked, I thought they looked amazing, so I, I went ahead and picked them up. So uh, here's the boxes. They're kind of in the respective color of the car that's inside. So we have a, the chrome black, the regular chrome, and then the chrome gold. So we'll go ahead and start cracking them open, and we'll take a look and see what NO64 is about. And if I like them, I will probably end up getting more. I know that they do a lot of, uh, I know that they do a lot of R34s and R32s. I'm not usually the biggest fan of JDM stuff, but every once in a while it's nice to put something like this in the collection. So pretty, uh, pretty bespoke kind of box. It's really fancy with the reflective on it. Uh, NO64, Nissan licensing, UPC, warning labels, and the rest of it just says what the car is. It's the Nismo R-Tune. And the top slides off. And inside here, we actually have the acrylic case in the car. This front part can fold down a little bit to make it easier to get the car out. And then this just kind of comes off. I really like that these come in like a protective box because I my worry with these models that come in acrylic cases is I don't want the box the acrylic box to get scratched or scuffed at all so I'll probably be keeping these models in their boxes but here's the first car black chrome so we can go ahead and take it out of the uh, cardboard sleeve. The back has the GTR logo and then some cool chrome designs on it. Uh, same thing as the outer box, just the typical, you know, um, I don't see anything different on it. UPC, licensing, where to find, you know, on Facebook, just that kind of stuff. The back has the outline of the car in chrome with the website on the bottom, pretty standard sleeve. And then we have the model. So I'm not going to be taking these off of the plinths. I'm just going to take the acrylic off and we can take a closer look at the car. And so on the front of the plinth, this says Nissan Skyline, GTR, R34, Nismo, R-Tune. And then it tells you the event it's from with the NO64 logo. And I think this car looks very, very good. As standard with NO64, we have brake and caliper details. The wheels look like they are kind of a black, like a glossy black. I don't think they're chrome. And then we actually have Nismo printed onto the wheels. At least that front wheel. Yeah, it's on the back wheel too. I couldn't see it. I don't know. I don't know how, but I couldn't see it at first. But the paint looks really good. The black chrome. It's really reflective. Coming around the back, very nice uh, acrylic inserted tail lights. The spoiler has carbon fiber on it, on just the back part right there, and then the Nismo logo. Um, license plate is carbon fiber with Nismo. The exhaust is actually like a blue titanium tipped exhaust, which is pretty neat. Nissan badge, GTR badge. Nismo, gas fillers, square, pretty much the same details on this side. I like the, I like the Nismo red and white pinstripe that goes back on this one. Looks good. On the hood, we have some more of the Nismo design with some vents. Very nice, clear acrylic inserted headlights. Nismo on the intercooler, GTR badge. Um. A little bit of a front lip on the bottom. 
some meshing, it looks pretty clean, pretty detailed. Some meshing, some meshing on the side right there in front of the wheel. Again, that pinstripe going down the side. And then the roof is just that black. The interior is actually pretty well detailed as well. You can see the there's kind of like a tan harness in there. And then there's a bunch of detail on the inside as well. It's kind of hard to see because the glass is kind of reflective in the lighting, but it looks pretty good. Um, the mirrors have a reflective, if I can get it to focus, the mirrors have a reflective sticker inside, which is kind of nice. Um, if you look, there actually is, it's not wanting to focus on this car. It actually does have a rear view, rear view mirror too. That's good. And the paint continues on to the mirrors as well. So for my first ever Inno 64 model, I'm pretty impressed with it. Looks pretty good. We have the um, defroster lines on the back window and they look really nice. They're not too thick. So can't see the bottom of the car just because I'm not going to take it off the, the base, but it looks very nice, very, very clean. Looks like a very premium product, so. And these cars will all pretty much be exactly the same, except for the paint will be different. So we'll kind of run through the next two a little bit quicker. I'll do the gold. But yeah, I really like these boxes that they come in. Because a lot of my tarmac works that I have come in the ac acrylic boxes too, because I prefer their Hobby 64 stuff. And I, don't, I just have a hard time taking the plastic wrap off of them because I, I, I'm i afraid that the acrylic case is going to get scratched. But this is a nice alternative to that. So same thing, just the box is gold, same details. So take it out, same thing, this folds down. And look at that, very, very nice. And then all the text on this one is in gold. And the car is in gold on the back, same details on the bottom. Pop this acrylic case off. Oh, and then on the back of the, uh, on the back of this, the lines are also in gold as well. So everything just kind of matches the color of the car. It's a very, very premium product. And the gold on this is crazy. It actually almost looks like it's gold plated, but I know it's not. We'll zoom in a little bit more. Same brake calipers, same details on the wheels, same pinstriping down the side, same back details, blue tipped exhaust, of course, we have plastic inserted taillights and headlights, carbon fiber on the wing, on the license plates, plastic inserted headlights, Nismo on the intercooler. Very, very nice, very clean. I think so far the gold is my favorite, but we'll see how it compares to the uh, to the regular chrome version. So. Same thing on the on the plinth or the base, just the name of the car, the event it's from, and the Inno logo. So that one looks really good too. I'm so far I'm very happy with these. It actually took me quite a while to find a seller that actually had these in stock. But because I kept going, I kept going and I kept trying to find a seller and they would sell out because these are apparently pretty popular and they would they would sell out and I was sad and I kind of just assumed I wasn't going to get them because I didn't want to pay the ridiculous prices from third-party sellers on these but I finally found somebody that uh, had them in stock so very happy to add them to the collection I figured these were a pretty good way to start the NO64 collection too since these are my first ones all right, get the plastic off. Same box, just regular chrome this time. And get this thing out. All right, and this is the regular chrome. So same box, lettering is in chrome. 
There's the outline of the car, same details of course. And let's take a look at this car. Oh yeah, that looks really nice. They're so reflective, it's crazy. You can just see everything behind the behind the paint on it. You can see my phone cameras back there. You've probably seen my face at some point. <laughs> but yep, same exact details, nice nice carbon fiber. All the good stuff on it. I think one thing that really sets this these apart from like a brand like Mini GT is the the brakes behind the wheels. It just makes it look so much more accurate. I really enjoy that with these models and tarmac on some of tarmac work stuff is like that too. So I think we're gonna have to get some more Inno 64s, but I mean most of the stuff they do is JDM, and most of the, from what I've seen, most of the stuff they do is Skyline. So there's I uh, I now have three R34s, so if they come out with something that I really like, I might grab it, do a review on it. But if there's anything that you guys want me to review from Inno64, anything that you want to see specifically, if it's not super rare, I might pick it up and do a review on it for you guys. So, but that is the three Inno64 Chrome R34s from the Chinese Diecast Expo. The chrome, the gold, and the black chrome. I think they look incredible, but let me know what you guys think. Were any of you guys able to pick these up? I know they were kind of hard to find. So that's about it for this one. Just wanted to hop on real quick and show these off. So until the next video, take care.